Hi everyone, welcome to Kara's house. Today we've got a review of the Infinity Seat E2. So I'm just gonna spin it round in case you haven't seen one of these before. Very strange looking saddle. Um, as you can see, nothing, just like a shape. Um, I've also got the E1X, um, had that one first because these are so um, unique, I didn't know what to expect so I got the covered one and I've done a review on that, it's on my channel and now we're on to this one. So it's different to the other one in the fact that this one kind of locks you in more to your riding position um, because you're almost restricted by the shape of the saddle so when you sit in it you kind of go into the saddle so it's really weird to explain so it'll sit like that on your bike so you're actually if i can hold it properly you're actually kind of in the seat you sink into it i don't know how to even explain it it's very strange um, but your weight is supported by the outside of the saddle rather than your weight being supported by the top of the saddle. I find myself that I, it seems like I'm quite uh, forward. It feels like I'm up this end with with uh, my sit bones kind of in here. So. The male soft tissue is like in this area, I would say. It's really comfy, really comfy. No issues, no, no major issues, I would say. You can go for um, a good time without actually feeling the saddle or even even um, like noticing it's there. And then you have to stop for a car or you have to stop at a traffic light and your seat position shifts and then you can't... Yeah, it's like, oh, I've, I was in that sweet spot and now I've moved and I need to find it again. It's, um, it's quite unlike anything I've ever... Uh, ridden before just the way it supports you and doesn't pressurize the points that a normal saddle would you have to try it to understand what i'm trying to say it's so different it's crazy these saddles have been a godsend to be fair if, obviously you don't ride this one in the rain unless you want a wet bum this one sets you in a position though so i think if you were a time trial this one would probably be the one that you'd want uh, the one with the cover you can slide around on it a bit more because it doesn't fix you in as much i'm gonna highly recommend these saddles they are great they might not look um conventional if you like they are really comfy and that's what cycling is all about if you can't cycle your bike because you can't bear to sit down then that's not really very helpful you might have the coolest saddle in the world but if you can't sit on it for more than five minutes without physically dying like i used to yeah if you can't physically sit on it then there's no point having it uh, the two black marks are just my marks for putting it back on my bike so i know where it goes this doesn't uh, you can't feel this bit at all for those of you wondering that doesn't stick in your bum or anything i can't really say much else other than you have to try it to to understand how different it is it's so different to any saddle you've ever tried it's difficult to put into words so trying is believing in this um, context i used to get a lot of pain um, especially on the on my left sit bone uh, with this one it's completely gone there's no pain at all i'm a big fan of this saddle fantastic so to summarize not cheap super comfy no sit bone pains you even forget it's there everyone asks you about it because it looks so weird that's the end of the review thanks for watching uh, give me a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next chorus house take care bye